Cats get there first and are able to clear. Mags keeps it in the blue line. Fired towards goal. Comes off the backboard. Shot from scene. Angle in front. Mara again with another big save. The B think they've scored. Puck still loose. Whistle finally goes. I think somehow that stayed out. I think we're going to need Pedrusa Nick. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what happened here. Puck scrambling around. Hits oh! The hits the post. Bar and post across the line. line. Bit, of, bit of be fair. Um, Mr. Gabay, the hung Hungarian referee, yep. called that spot on. He was in a great position, and I don't think that has crossed the line. Uh, Nick, is there any chance we can just wheel that one more time? Like, I think that stayed on the line. That is. Yeah, I think that's rolled across the line. I think that's like at its finest. Yeah, to let off for the cats for sure. He's even slowed down for his doubt with a shot. Bar post yeah. along the line. Jamie Smith hooks it back into Rennie Mars pad. I think that's a, a really good call from the Hungarian official there. Cosby. Cross ice pass. No one picking it up. And the Wildcats will open the scoring. As no one picks up the trailing forward. I believe it's Colby, Colby Tower. Tower. It's Colby Tower. Tower. The 11 05. <laughs> and the Cats open the scoring with Colby Tower's fifth of the season. Just a, a momentary breakdown on D from the Bees. Um, I can't see that. It's Balaj, I think it is, yeah. who just gives Colby Tower just a bit too much space, and that's a great shot. Uh, goes high over Shepard. Not a lot that the netminder can do from that spot. It's a great finish. Neymar it, able to read it and just push it aside. The Godfrey Mine is just about uh, five seconds now. Platforms are about to bed. Bed shot in front. That takes a deflection in front and goes in. And the Bees get a power play marker just as it expires. 13.50. And we're going to give it to Brendan Baird to start with. We'll wait and see on the replay. <laughs> yeah, it got a bit scrabbly there from the Cats penalty kill. They couldn't clear the zone. And Josh Smith, I think, in front yeah, of the net. It's a Josh Smith tipping in front. You know, the man just gets free. It's a good tip. and Not a lot that Rennie Mark can do about that. Nicely waved off. But down Aaron Nell again. Aaron Nell, that shot seemed to hit Shepard on the mask. <laughs> the referee thought about it. Play on. Billy shot in front, and that is trickled in. And that is really unfortunate. Glenn Billing with a pass that, let's face it, he's kind of fanned on. It's found Aaron Nell, and he sort of flipped it hopefully towards goal. And it's trickled into the net. 16.32. I think Glenn Billing has just thrown that pass in front of the net. He's not had many options, and it's hit. It hits Shepard on the stick and falls to Nell. Fallen to Nell, and it kind of yeah, it's hit. It's hit Shepard on the way through. I don't think he was aware of aware of where it was. And means win the draw. Tarly goes cross ice to goodbye. Guy steps in. No one wants to chance him. Finds Vitali back door. And Gianni Vitali works the shot in from close range, and the game is all tied up at 21-21. The American gets his fourth of the season. That's nice work from Goodbye to um, just, you know, patience here. The man, Tower, just draws up and Vitali just, yeah, just dropping in, into the slot there. That's a really good finish. That's a quality finish from the import. 16th of December for them. Tom is both looking forward and dreading it. It's busy Christmas. Busy Christmas. Malasinski steps in his own shot. That is an absolute snipe from the pole. And that just as we say, 100 point seasons of men. Thomas Malasinski fires his 10th bar down on Brett Shepard, 23 11. Well, yeah, you can see you've got Nags and um, Morgan. Just goes between them and goes bar down. Right? Bar down, over the glove and in. No, not much that Brett Shepard could do in, you know, this is a guy. It's a wraparound attempt, misses, finds his way back up to the blue line. And Ollie Nag shot, save from Ollie Nags in front, and it's gone in! We'll see who gets the goal on this one. It looks like it might be Van Uranza with a tip in front. The Coffin, Ollie Nags point shot, Rennie Marr isn't happy below us. We'll wait and see on the replay. 30 44, the time of the goal. As we said, again, you get traffic in front, and everyone is in front of the net, and I think it might be Vanya's Antonov stick, it's hard to tell. Someone gets a stick. I don't know if it's Ross Bottom or Antonov, but someone gets a tip to get in, but couldn't get to it. Just bobbled over a stick. Cats in here again. Malasinski wants more. Puts on the afterburner. Stops Malasinski! No, you can't do that as he steps in, round the face off circle, that is and snipes one through the tiniest gap. 53 30. I think the bees' tiredness just showed for a second there. They gave that's just too, too much space, but that is just unfair. There's no space at all in the between really between Shepard and the post and that is precision precision I mean, from the Poland from the former Poland
This is him. Cats clear. Nell. Has time three on two here for the Cats. Billing tries to go back to Nell. Finds a way over to Malasinski. Malasinski shot. And there is the game. Thomas Malasinski completes the hat trick with goal number 12 on the year. As once more he fires one over the shoulder of Brett Shepard. 57 41. It's another really good finish from Malazinski. He's the man you don't want to be leaving that much room to. He's the man over. The bees just get caught with the three on two, and that's probably the last person you ever want to be the kind of extra man off the wing. And um, man of the match for Wildcats, as we've said, Thomas Malasinski is the name we sent over. I think it's hard to argue with who the, the game winner is. Yeah, I was going to say, it's, well, exactly. He's, the, his hat trick has ultimately blown that game open at the end, and he's had three big chances and he's taken all three of them. Um, and that's kind of the difference in this game. Is one guy who, well, it's not one guy, it's a team effort, but that one guy with that extra bit of quality has nope. turned the game around. He's always been a game changer since he's arrived at the Link Centre, and that continues as ever. As the Wildcats go for their lap of honour. As they uh, help themselves to opening the door down low. That's a new one. They go for their lap on it. The Cats are back here on Sunday, the 7th of January. Not long, only a month before they're back here. Five o'clock face off. Tom will be stuck with me for the evening. Yep. And fat Wildcats fans, thank you for joining us either in the rink or here on the stream. We hope you join us next time as well. Yeah. Man of the match for the Bees. Again, it was on to us to pick. And we picked Oli Nags. Yeah, he, 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 he impressed tonight. You know, he's 17 years old and he didn't look out of place. He having to play a really big role, you know, with down to four demon. Yeah. He was playing massive a 30, minutes. A 30-minute night, yeah, essentially. Yeah, mass he played massive minutes. Uh, he got picked himself up a big assist in that second period on the Antonov goal. And, yeah, he, he moves the puck well. He's got. He's a good skater, very much like his brother Ed and yeah. Milton Keynes. And, you know, you, you kind of see the talent is there. You, Maybe he needs to get, he's only 17, he's going to get bigger and stronger as the years go on, but there's a lot, he's a real quality um, prospect. And for a league. large part tonight, he helped keep the Wildcats' offence shut down. Yeah. Tired legs at the end there, as we said, maybe played a part in it, yeah. but another phenomenal performance on a phenomenal weekend for the young player. Yeah, definitely, he, goes, so he got his first goal last night, and yeah, he's got a bright future ahead of him for sure. Well, as the Bees go around for their lap of honour, they have one game next weekend, they've got an off night on the Saturday. Finally, they get a break, and they're back here next Sunday as we welcome the Leeds Knights into town for their second and final visit of the year. A team that the Bees have been quite good with over the last two years. Um, hope for some bodies back for next Sunday. Hope that the wheel of discipline isn't too harsh on them for this weekend, and they'll be back to remotely full strength. Tom, thank you for joining me. Uh, I'm checking the list I've got. And obviously, the next time we're back here is for the Wildcats again on the 7th of January, because I'm just going to say it. Thank you, Swindon, for having a broken rink. Tom was meant to commentate with me on the 17th, and now you've got a home game. Yeah. Guess what? He chose you lot. Apparently, apparently cats are thicker than commentators. <laughs> Something like that. But, Tom, thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed yourself yeah, here fine. tonight. Thank you for having me, and thank you for letting me come back next time. And thank to everyone who's joined us here tonight, we hope you've enjoyed it. And me, producer Nick, and Attica, and Tom, we'll see you next week. Thank you, and good night.